I saw a woman. This woman is crying. What I was praying for marital restoration. What's your name, woman? Come here. A broken marriage is a great affliction, but the Lord is able to restore. Receive the blessings of God. Amen. I say receive the blessings of God. I receive it. May your life never be the same again. In Jesus' name. What is your name? My name is Chantel. Chantel. Yes. Chantel is your name. Yeah. All right. It's a French name, but uh, you're not French. Come here. Chantel is your name. Yes. Chantel, I saw you cry. You are crying over your marriage. Yes. When I prayed for the gentleman here and the wife, the Lord pointed you out and your heart was beating because you related to the story. Your husband want to leave you. Yes. Your husband want to leave you. Is that true? He's a true man of God. Clement. Who's Clement? Clement Mapisa is my husband. All right. Clement Mapisa. Yes. That is your husband. Yes. Your husband want to leave you because he's just tired. He said he's tired. Is that correct? Yeah. This is not the doing of the Lord. Can you imagine how broken this woman is? Yesterday. Did he sleep at home? Uh, no. He didn't sleep at home? Yeah. Because I see you communicated even on, on WhatsApp. At 10 minutes past 9 p.m., he sent you a long message. I am reading, he's saying that I am tired of you. Yes, ma'am. You all are witches in your family. Yes. You have a message. Yes, I have it. On your phone. Yes. All right. Oh, God. oh Lord, Ooh. this is heavy. Yeah, he sent me a message yesterday that I'm tired of you. Go back to your parents. I don't love you anymore. He said that he doesn't love you anymore. Yeah. And that he didn't come home. He didn't sleep at home. No, he, he didn't come yesterday. He didn't come yesterday. Yes. Now, all this is because he's saying that uh, he's waiting for you to give a child. You are not giving him a child. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, I'm seven years. Seven years? Yes. Still no child? Yeah. You were married on the 13th of August, 2011. Amen, man of course. Is that correct? Yes. Wow. The 13th of August, 2011. Yes. Mm. Still now, no child. Yes. Because in 2013, you had a miscarriage. Yes, I you, have a miscarriage. You were four months pregnant. Yes. In 2015, you had two miscarriages. Yes, oh, man of God. The first one in January. The second one in July. Is that true? Yes, man, of course. Last year, you had another miscarriage. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Four miscarriages. So he said, I am tired. And he sent you this message. Is that true? <laughs> the devil is a bad Is it true? Yes, man, of God. Where's your husband? I leave him in the house. So he didn't sleep, but he came home. Yes, in the morning. But I didn't tell him that I'm coming here. <laughs> All right. So in the morning it comes, you are going out. <laughs> he's going to his church because he is a pastor. You? <laughs> oh, your husband is a pastor? Yes, this is the message that he sent me yesterday. This is a message at 10 minutes past nine. With clarity and accuracy, Pastor Alf saw this. There's no way the situation can remain the same. So your husband, Clement Mapisa, yes. left home, didn't sleep in the morning, came, and you left him home, you came here, he went to his church. Yeah. He left you, he said that because you cannot give me a child. Yes. He mm. said, I'm tired of you. You are eating my, my food for nothing. Oh, you are Jesus. nothing to me. Come out in my house. He gave yes. me the deadline of tomorrow to go back to Zimbabwe. He said that uh, you, you should pack your thing and go back to Zimbabwe. Yes, he said go and stay with your parents. I'm tired of you. You are eating my food for nothing. All this because you're not giving children. Mm. Yes. Now, family, you see, whatever we are amused by is somebody's pain. Yes. This young girl is going through pain and she does not know why. Why is it that she cannot give 
This man just a child. Four times she miscarried. Four times. And now the Lord showed me that this man sent a message. I, I saw 10 minutes past night. I want you guys to show that in a message. So that somebody will say that, how do you do you? <laughs> Have you ever spoken to me in your life before? Do you know me? Have you ever no, spoken to it, me? No, this is my first time to be here. This is your first time? Wow. Yes. I yeah. come here because last week I dream you, men of God, prophesy me in this church and you said to me, your past is over. I want to deliver you and I want to give you a, a child. Wow. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? Hey. She said she came here because she had a dream of me last week. Yes. Prophesying over her, saying that uh, your past is over. Yes. I want to deliver you and I'll give you a child. Yeah. Mm. You want only Please one, or how many do you want? I want two. Two? Yes. Okay. I believe that her desire will be made okay. manifest. Okay. She encountered Pastor Off in her dream, and this prophecy is a confirmation that indeed her past is about to be over. God has remembered her. I didn't ask you, I asked her. <laughs> okay, they, they're choosing for you. Some people are saying four. They don't want you to say two, they want four. How many do you want? Four. Five. How many? All right. So we'll lock them in two pregnancies. So your husband made a mistake. Let me tell you the mistake of your husband. Your husband followed you here. Hey. What does Pastor Alf mean by this? Is Pastor Clement here in the spirit or is he physically in the building? And why would he follow her here to begin with? Beloved, I'm baffled by this. I think what most disturbs my spirit is the level of distrust that a said pastor will have that he'll even leave his church on a Sunday morning. Here it is. Here. You say your husband went to his church. Yes. Did he tell you he will come here? No. He didn't tell you he's coming to the church? No. Your husband is thinking you went somewhere else and he followed you. Oh family, look how distraught Chantel is by this. Look, 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 don't cry, don't cry. Call him. Say, Clement, I know you are here. The prophetic action that is upon Pastor Arf cannot be compared. Beloved, it has no geographical limitations. Now, Clement better come so that we may get to the root of this matter. Clement. Call your owner. Has... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Clement, Say, Clement. Marisa, come here. Come, Clement. Come. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't suspect your neighbor. Clement Mapisa, come here. The Lazarus is coming. Okay, let, let, wait, let me come here and look for him. My God. Now, beloved, you need to understand that there are thousands of people here. And if we start asking all men individually for their names, we will not finish. But the man of God uses a prophetic navigator to locate Clement, who is in this place. Hold on, hold on. He's a hiding. He's hiding. Don't Clement Mapisa. Yes. Is Clement Mapisa? Yes. Clement Mapisa. We will not do you any harm. Don't Guys, know. don't move. If you move, we think that you are Clement. <laughs> the only person that can move now is Clement. <laughs> Everyone is a suspect. You move, you're a suspect. Oh, tell me, is it Clem What happened there? What? It's not him. <laughs> is it him? Okay, 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 Clement. okay. Don't be shy, Clement. Clement. Don't be shy now. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody sit down. Sit down. I think Clement is doubting Pastor Arf's prophetic ability to search in the spirit and sit find him. Down, Beloved, as down. the crowd sits with eyes closed, Pastor Arf searches for this man right now. The man of God is in a different sphere altogether. 
Your husband is here. I'll find him for you. Remain here. The prophet cannot lie. Pastor Alf never misses. God has appointed him as guardian of this altar. And everything that occurs in the sanctuary never escapes him. As led by the spirit, Pastor Alf walks assuredly to a specific area in the auditorium. I wonder what is going through Clement's mind right now. I would have been terrified. Now the man of God is looking about for this pastor, taking his time as he's hearing the voice of God, directing him to the exact place where Clement is seated. Beloved, the man of God suddenly stops in this particular role. What could he be seeing? Is Clement perhaps here? I'm so curious. You are born on the 27th of April, Clement. 1981. Clement. The 27th of April, what? I should tell him what he's wearing. All right, all right. You have black shoes. You have a brown trouser. You have a blue track suit. My goodness, the man of God has clearly seen him and described in detail what he's wearing. If I were Clement at this point, you. I'd simply hand myself over. The man of Go God on. will find him indeed. Why doesn't Clement simply spare himself a greater humiliation and just come forward? This is not to embarrass him, but Arabah rather to rectify Sata. the marital strain going on between him and Chantal. We see Pastor Alf stop once again and he searches in the spirit. The Holy Ghost will never mislead him. Clement is here and he will be found. You have a blue track suit. It's a Puma track suit. As you are this side. Pastor Arthur is really on to this man, I'm telling you, family. It has stripes here. You are here. 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 The atmosphere here. is so tense here. as the man of God here. approaches this place. Here. Oh, God. Here. 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 13. Beloved Clement has been found and he's dressed in the precise attire that Pastor Arthur described. Okay, Who can doubt the power of God? Can I see that woman? Ha! Woman, is this your husband? Is this your husband? Yes, he's my husband. Family, she has confirmed that this is indeed her husband. I don't know what to say. I'm just in shock at how God, through his servant, was able to prophetically reveal his date of birth, what he was wearing. Did you see the assurance that Pastor Alf had as he was searching for Clement? I can't hear you, I am I. We're a prophetic house led by a rare man of power. I am confident in the anointing that Pastor Alf carries. I rest assured knowing that the God who placed his servant here will do something for you, beloved. Where have you ever seen this before? Wait. What's your name? I am Clemens Mapisa. Do you know that woman? Yes, I know her. She is my wife. You heard us calling you. You didn't want to come. You are hiding there. Yes, please. <laughs> Why? Because uh, since yesterday we were fighting all these days since the last week. So because of my family matters, I can't just stay with this wife. She's barren. She can't give birth, so my family is against me. Even though Clement was pressured by his family, his approach was not correct. But here it is. You see the shoes, you see the brown trouser, you see the puma, you see the track suit. I am amazed. Accuracy, family to the detail. This is beyond human ability. This is the power of God where a man will the see Holy you Spirit just as you are before meeting you in person. You can't stay with your wife because she's barren. Your family is giving you problem. That's what you say. Yes, please. But you are a pastor. 
She said you're a pastor. Yes, Papa. That is hard to believe because men led by God possess supernatural wisdom and are able to handle matters more maturely. You see, God wanted you to be here. Yeah. Yes, Papa. Did you follow her here? Yes, I just put a track in a phone. So I was just tracking through the phone. You were tracking her? Yes, I was tracking her. Through the phone? Yes. T till this place? I will get this place. Hey! I was thinking that maybe she's cheating me. Family, this is what I feared. Isn't it strange how he didn't sleep at home, but she's suddenly a suspect to cheating? My God. So you were tracking her through the phone? Yes. That's why you went on the other side, and you are thinking that she's cheating? Yes, Papa. So through the phone, you have been tracking your wife? Yes, Papa. These phones that you have. So Clement knew of every move that Chantal made. God have mercy. So that's why when we are calling you, you say no. They won't catch me. They will not catch me. Baba, you are too much. Because I was thinking that is soon after this service. I was going to divorce her completely. Mm. If you didn't say anything to this wife, meaning that today, that was the end of the road. Hey, come, come close. Please come. Beloved, his tone tells us that he's willing to mend things. We're fixing things today. We thank God that the prophetic will play a role in restoring their union. She has done you no wrong. She, she did not bring it upon herself that she may not have a child. You see, what is happening now? You as a pastor, you're supposed to understand it better than anybody. Yes, yes Papa. I tried by all means, but hey, I have got a pressure on my back. You try to understand, but you have pressure. Yes, please. You send her a message. This message is bad. You call the family witches. Yes, wherever I go, they just pinpoint, they say the problems with this one and their family. I'm just disappointed that he as a pastor was not able to discern. Nonetheless, they are both here now and we are believing God for an intervention in Chantal's healing and also in their marital communication. So this is a long message sent at 9, 10, 10 minutes past 9. Jesus Christ. Listen to me. They tell you that... Uh, this Papa, I am not worthy to stand in front of you. I can see the fire on you. I can't even stand in front of you, Papa. You are too much. You are too much, Papa. You are too much, Papa. Papa, you are too much. We thank God that his eyes are open and he acknowledges that he's standing in front oh, of a higher Jesus. anointing. Now... You gave me first big work to go and look for you. <laughs> you could have just come. Nevertheless, God wanted you here. Yes. You know why? Because this is your wife. Yes, she, Papa. She loves you. And if God were to speak and pick her, though you are hiding, goes and finds you, yes, it's Papa. not by random. From today, forget about who's saying what. Yes, Papa, do it for me. You accepted. No, this one I can't do. You have to do it. <laughs> you, you must turn your way. Let me tell you, if there is a woman out there, your wife, and she's going through difficulties of bearing children, family, first, who told you that barrenness or difficulties of having children is a woman problem only? Yes. Did you check yourself? Yeah. But having said that, you didn't marry her for children. It is God that gives children. Amen. And if she's going through difficulty, it is important that husband and wife seek the face of God together. Yes. God will bless you with children. Amen. This is sound wisdom from the prophet of God. Amen. If you leave this woman you'll miss out on what God has in store for you this is your wife Amen. yes papa I want you to do something 
If you would take your wife, because today is when? What's the day today? Sorry? The 10th of? Okay, the 10th of June. For you to know that God loves her. Yes, Baba. And he loves you. Yes, Baba. My words that are pronounced over the two of you today. Yes, Baba. Will not fall to the ground. Amen. Receive, I receive. By next year, this time. I receive, Baba. She will not just carry, but that she will have a two babies. I receive, Baba. Yes, Thank I you, receive. Jesus. These words will I not receive, fall to the ground. Papa. I receive, Baba. I am speaking as an authorized man of God. I next receive. year, by the 10th of June next year, I you will receive. be a father of two boys. I receive. How many of you believe it shall be so? Beloved, they are embracing each other in joy. God is changing their story. Their marriage is being restored by the power of God. Stand with one another. Pastor Clement is in tears. He's so oh, overwhelmed. Jesus. This that we're seeing right now is healing taking place. Truly all things work oh, together for Jesus. them that love God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Faithful Savior. You hear me? Forgive your wife and you forgive your husband. Walk together, be in peace together. Amen. Whoever tells you otherwise, say to him, Pastor, in Santon, in yes, Alleluia Ministries, Pastor yes, Aflokau, I said, The two of you are meant to be with one another. I receive. And that the old world may know. I, that in this generation there is a prophet. Amen. I receive, yes. Papa, you are too much. By the 10th of June, am I speaking? Are you listening? Yes. By the 10th of June next year, you will be a mother, you will be a father of twins. I receive, Papa. I receive, Papa. So shall it be receive, in the name yes. of yes. Jesus. Amen. My name is Alf Lukau. A rare general carrying the supernatural power of God. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Sante Ondlofo. Uh, I come here for a problem of barrenness for seven years. The man of God picked me and he told me today that you are free, receive your twins. So I want to thank men of God and I want to thank God for that. So your husband made a mistake. Let me tell you the mistake of your husband. Your husband followed you here. Hey. I'm Clement Mapisa from Pretoria, Mamelot. I came here because of my wife. I've been tracing my wife uh, through a tracker. Then she doesn't know that I'm on the way coming to her. I just uh, track until I get into the church. I was thinking that maybe she is cheating me on along. So the man of God just asked her, where is your husband? I just uh, keep quiet while it's sitting down. I didn't know that the man of God can just uh, pick me up. Then he started to say, I can just uh, say out the, uh, the clothing of the husband. You have black shoes. You have a brown trouser. You have a blue track suit. I keep on sitting down until he just come and pick me up. I was very shocked because I never see such a miracle like that. And a man of God, God bless you. I am together with my wife. Keep on praying for us so that I can, can be lost again. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arf Lukau on all social media platforms at Arf Lukau.